Hey everybody, good afternoon. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus, with your tropical update. And I will make it quick. I like to keep these tropical updates as quick as possible. Not only less time that I consume of yours, but at the same time, just get the information out what we need to know and move on. Now, not only are we showing that Invest 91L does have greater potential getting into the Gulf now with a lot of models, including the Euro. We're also showing that Invest 92L has a great chance of getting into the Caribbean, just like we said before, the second wave, and has a great chance of being a hurricane as well. Never been here before, hello. <laughs> My name is Mark, I do upload every single day. Just not Friday from sundown to Saturday from sundown, that's Sabbath. But we'll make sure you're covered. I also do a tropical update every single afternoon during hurricane season to make sure we stay updated on the tropics. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am all year around. All I ask is if you know somebody that's in these impacts, share the information on social media. If you don't use social media, just hit the like button. YouTube will suggest it for you. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Now, as far as Larry, it's still predicted to be up to a four and go back down to a three. So I really don't see a five in that. I see some people talking about that. But at the same time, you can see Larry's getting a little split up right now with all this dry air going inside, right in the middle of him and just separating him from these thunderstorms on the south side. Invest 92L is maximum winds of 29 miles per hour and moving west at 18 miles per hour. And most of the ensembles show it will be a western push either to the Caribbean or straight over to islands and still get into the Caribbean. With 91L still going to either the Bay of Campeche or doing a sharp turn. That cold front is still playing a big factor. An update on the power outages, guys. Right now we have New York at 15,000. We have Pennsylvania at 47,000. New Jersey at 29,000. Mississippi is at 25,000. California, 18,000. A lot of people without power. Louisiana, you're right at 900,000. So they're trying to get you down as quick as possible. They are working their way to you. A lot of counties has getting better. Even St. Tammany, where I'm from, over half of y'all got y'all power back by now. So they are working on it. Y'all are still 95% without power way down in the lower parishes, especially the Lafouche and Plaquemine, St. Charles, Terrebonne, St. James. They're trying to work on y'all. They're going to get to y'all as fast as they can. Now the APM update does have 91L as still 10% in 48 hours, 20% in five days. And I'm showing according to the data and some of the modeling that we might have something within four days pop up in that Gulf. And Hurricane Larry is at 80 miles per hour, 985 millibars moving west still at 16 knots, which is 18 miles per hour. And Invest 92L is at 30% in 48 hours, 30% in five days. Uh, Invest 92L is showing a little weakening right now. It's getting a little bit of shear, but it is making it through the Caribbean. And this is going to be another issue that the Gulf is going to need to worry about. It's not just the one that's happening in the next few days. But you can see a lot of winds coming from the southeast going to the northwest. It's just shearing the storm a little bit until it moves on. It needs Larry to get out the way. At the same time, behind it is just another and another and another. And you can see that here before the sun goes down. You have Larry here. You have 92L right here. You have another system trying to come off over here. The one coming off behind 92L it's starting to get some rotation to us. We might have to think about this one as well in the long track. The latest guidance on 92L has it going all the way up to a hurricane on multiple miles. Definitely a strong tropical storm in about five, six, seven days tops. Now in six or seven days, it's going to be approaching the islands and starting to get its way into the Caribbean. And this is where it's going to take its track towards the Gulf as well. And you can see this with the automatic guidance. In five days, more than likely, is going to be here and moving towards the Caribbean. Only way it would take this northward path is if Larry slowed down even more and it had to go around Larry. And Invest 91L is actually starting to group up a little bit, but it's starting to get sheer now because there's an upper level low in the way, creating a big trough. And you can see that here. You have this big trough coming down, curving up, and it's putting shear on everything that 91L is doing because it's going, trying to go counterclockwise while it has shear coming from the south west going to the northeast and just beating it up so either it's going to get cut off and squeeze right here above the yucatan which some ensembles are showing that or it's going to just meander across the yucatan weaken down because it's going across land and get into the bay of campeche where the wind shear is less either way the intensity guidance is showing in three to four days it's going to start slipping away from a tropical depression 
towards tropical storm strength. And in five to six days, it definitely could be a tropical storm on a low end get into our Gulf. And that's what I'm seeing. Now, the latest automatic guidance does take it where it could make it to the Bay of Campeche in about four to five days. But some of it's starting to show now that it sees that it will turn because of that deep trough. And in about three days, by the Yucatan and start going towards the Gulf, maybe lagging towards Louisiana. Some ensembles show that it can still go towards Texas and it could make it towards Florida. The main factor that's making the direction of this storm is when that cold front comes down with the timing. That's still a thing. It's not going to go away. When this cold front comes down around the 8th or the 9th, this storm is going to be going in the Gulf around the 8th or the 9th. So if it goes early, it can make it further into the Gulf without the cold front messing it up. If it comes at the same time, which some of the ensembles on the Euro shows, that it will hit it and stop it from going north or east and make it go west. That's why Texas is involved. And if the cold front comes a little bit sooner and stops it from hitting Louisiana, well, then that's going to curve it and make it go towards Florida. It's all about timing. Now the CMC shows that in four days it will be right here right above the Yucatan, a little high in the Bay of Campeche, mostly in the center of the Gulf of Mexico. And it will start making that curve. Then when a cold front comes down, it will make it curve towards Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, a little bit of Alabama, and go across. At the same time, you can see Invest 92L coming into the Caribbean and the next wave that's going to be behind that one. So, so far, according to the CMC, on the 7th, in a few days, guys, it's not like 5 days, 20%. In a few days, this could pop up. It could pop up upper level low, become a surface low pressure in that warm gulf, go by Louisiana, start strengthening up as it goes by Alabama, Panhandle, Florida, and then weaken back down over Georgia, South Carolina. Go out to East Coast and hit with Larry. And if you remember that ensemble you saw a while back where he had that upper level low that did that Fujiwara effect with Larry, that's what that is. The Euro is also confirming that it will be in the Bay of Campeche, it will be weak, and 92L will be making its way towards the Caribbean. And 91L will go and get hit by a cold front right there. You see how the cold front came earlier than the CMC model, and that makes it turn even sharper. It goes right towards Florida because of the cold front. And just like on the every other ensemble, every other model, it shows nothing by the 7th or 8th. And then right when you get into the 8th or 9th, then something starts brewing. You get a little vorticity in the atmosphere, and it comes across. I even picked up the Euro showing that on the 8th, it could be a 989 going right towards Louisiana. It could come out of nothing literally in four days, 96 hours, and go straight forward because it gets there quicker before the cold front. Now, if you look at the SpaghettiOs according to the Euro, you can understand a little bit about what the cold front's going to do. This is our possibility in the Bay of Campeche within five days. And this one shows that it could either hit Louisiana or lag behind a little bit. Then the cold front hits it and knocks it back to the west because now it's a deep trough in the Gulf of Mexico and it can't pass it. And that could be where the potential for a intensification could happen. And then after that, when this Larry's still passing by, 92L gets into the Bay of Campeche and 92L starts intensifying as soon as it gets in the Gulf, go straight for Texas as well. And that purple that you see right there is 950 or less. And it kind of meets up with the GFS ensembles. GFS ensemble sees that as well. Right here on 7, it shows right here by September 9th, it could be one going towards Texas. Or right here on 8, it could be towards northern Texas. When you look at the latest GFS, you can see it come through the Bay of Campeche, get into the Gulf of Mexico, and turn early. It turns early. It don't go with that thunderstorms to the west. It gets in there a little quicker. The cold front comes down and makes it turn across Florida into the Atlantic. So it is going to be definitely about timing. And the latest run on the GFS takes it Monday, September 6th. Starts getting upper level low in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. By the 7th and 8th, it starts making its way as a weak system. Maybe a weak tropical storm on the 8th. Somewhere close to Florida. Going across Florida, a very weak tropical storm to a strong tropical depression. It will be somewhat weak if that does play out. And it still shows just like CMC, it chases Larry right out. And so far, Invest 92L follows along the same path, a little bit stronger than 91L, but it stays in the Bay of Campeche, heads towards Mexico a little bit. I'm sure it'll change.
but the rainfalls hasn't changed it. Euro still shows heavier than GFS. Not only does it show that Larry takes out, but you can see the rain track going all the way from the Bay of Campeche all the way across Florida. The GFS confirms with Larry, but it also shows that it would be less rainfall and more would be like a group of thunderstorms, maybe a tropical depression. That's it, guys. Just a quick update to let you know what's going on with the system. We could be dealing with a tropical depression, maybe a tropical storm coming in our Gulf in four days. I know Noah says 30% or 20% in five days. I've been hearing other things about people saying their meteorologist told them that there's nothing to worry about. Keep your head open. Keep, keep alert. I'm telling you, there's a good potential we have something in four days in our Gulf. But thank you again for visiting my channel today. If you did enjoy today's content, please hit that like button. Show support. Thank you so much for helping me. I do appreciate it so much. God bless you all. Now, tonight, I would like to read to y'all Psalm 16. Preserve me, O God, for in thee do I put my trust. O my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, Thou art my Lord. My goodness extendeth not to thee, but to the saints that are in the earth, and to the excellent in whom is all my delight. Their sorrows shall be multiplied that hasten after another God. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. The Lord is a portion of mine inheritance, and of my cup. Thou maintenance my lot. The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who hath given me counsel. My reins also instruct me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life, and thy presence is fullness of joy. In thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Amen. Bless you all tonight. Thank you again <laughs> for visiting my channel today. Hope you all have a great night tonight. I will see you in the morning. Explain these things a little bit further. <laughs> All glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob, the Almighty. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, guys. <laughs> Have a very great night. I will see you in the morning.